The 17th Virgin Media Dublin International Film Festival returns to the capital this weekend with a plethora of the world's leading movie stars and filmmakers flying in especially for the festival. And one of the special guests is legendary film composer and <clears throat> Academy Award winner David Shire, who created the unforgettable scores of such classics as All the President's Men, The Conversation and Zodiac. David, delighted to have you with us this Good morning. morning David. Delighted to be here. En route to the airport, a busy man. You had a busy week too. A oh, busy week, but a very delightful week. How did Thursday night go? Because you were in a Q&A session. It was an evening with David Shire. What kind of questions came up? What were people eager uh, to learn? It was uh, a, a dean... Is that how you pronounce yes, it? Yes, yeah. right. yeah. Aideen, yeah. Aideen Gromley, yeah. and she was a wonderful uh, host. And she asked questions about various movies uh, I'd done, and then I played pieces from some of them, and it was very informal and nice. It was lovely. Sounds David, lovely. It's, an, it's an incredible career. Um, there are too many movies to mention, an Oscar win. What I'm fascinated with is, is your process in terms of scoring a movie. And uh, two things I'd like to know. First of all, has it changed over the years, the process? But firstly, when you're, when you're commissioned or hired to score a movie, where does the conversation start with the director? Does he tell you about their vision, the style, how little or how, how much they want yeah. to score it? Where does it start? Um, it can start anywhere from... They haven't even written the screenplay yeah. yet, which the conversation was directed by my brother-in-law at the time, Francis Coppola. Yeah. So I was seeing him on and off as the movie was being written. He hadn't asked me yet to do it. You were but seeing him as a brother-in-law. He hadn't hired you yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, other, other times you see the movie after it's in what's called a rough cut. Yeah. Uh, and you get a general idea of what the movie is like. Uh, and I, I am a, my background is a theater, so I'm really a, a natural collaborator. And I like to get as much input as possible. Some directors have a very specific idea of what they yeah. want the score to be. Others just say, look at it and do your thing. And so, David, they presumably would have a huge amount of trust in you to say, go off and do your thing. When you get a rough cut or a few scenes of a movie, is it the people you focus on to create mood? Because the score is so vital mm -hmm. to any movie. It can make you cry. Um, it can make you yeah. laugh. So is it the people you concentrate on, the story, or is it the it's general the, atmosphere? The story, the, the uh, venue, uh, the characters. It's very much like my background, which was writing musicals mm. and still is for the, for the theatre. Uh, I, I don't wake up in the morning with tunes <laughs> <laughs> cursing through my brain really? like Beethoven was supposed <clears throat> to do, but uh, I'm inspired by the specific... Uh, uh, gestalt, gestalt of the movie. And uh, I have written tons of music that I never would have written otherwise yeah. uh, in styles that I never thought I would have to write in simply because the movie asks for that. Like and would, would, yeah. would you at some point, you know, you, you would presumably have a bank of work, songs that you might have written mm. or started to write, when you see maybe a scene or a rough cut, would you think, you know what, that song that I wrote X amount of years ago, or that piece of music, that might just sit here. I need to develop that. Would that happen at all? Not, not really. It starts from scratch. Sometimes with musicals, you take a song out of a trunk, but very rarely. Although it used to happen a lot. Uh, the Man I Love, I, uh, Gershwin, was in two shows before yeah. it wound up yeah. in the show it was in. Imagine cutting that song from a show. That's incredible. How did you do that? Twice. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, some of the movies that you've worked on, All the President's Men, The Conversation, Zodiac, um, when you create a score for a movie and it's a huge success, are other directors scrambling to collaborate with you then? Are you sort of on the favourite list for people? Is that how it works in Hollywood? I, I don't know if I'd use the word scrambling. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit optimistic. Yeah. Yeah. I'd, uh, I'd say more like some... Well, let's put it this way. You have an agent, mm -hmm. but most of my work has got, has been, uh, they've come to me because of what I've done previously. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the way it always is. An agent can do just so much. He can say, I've submitted you for this, and then you find out he submitted also the other 15 composers on, in his stable. Uh, and are you, st are you still scoring? Are you still writing? Oh, yeah. Are you still composing? I, mostly indie films. The really? last uh, major feature I did was Zodiac. Yeah. David Fincher, that was very exciting. And now uh, 
I've I've moved into the semi legendary. <laughs> <laughs> All, that although what tag. that means is that young composers come up to me after master classes and yes, say, yeah, yeah. sir, it's such an honor to meet you. And, I, and I'm thinking, you're getting all the work that I wish I was <laughs> yeah, doing. Yeah, exactly. You're taking my jobs. But indie films are very exciting. You know, the budgets are, are <clears throat> anywhere near what they are for features. Yeah. But uh, with the equipment that there is now, yeah. uh, samples and... Uh, uh, Home recording. Yeah. And do you have I can to stay on top home of all that? In, my, uh, in your in living my room if you need studio. to. Yeah. That's incredible. Um, just one last thing, David, before you catch your flight. When you see the movie with your score on yeah. it, is there a huge feeling of emotion, of satisfaction, of enjoyment? Nerves, can you enjoy yeah. it? Or nerves, yeah. Um, if it's a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't get that feeling, I wonder what I'm, what I'm going to do. Yeah. But... Um, it's nice when you do get that feeling. Yeah. And... Uh, Long may continue. It makes it easier and sometimes it makes it harder. With all the President's Men, I actually tr turned, tried to turn down the movie after oh, I saw yeah. it because it was so wonderful yeah. and it was so documentary in tone yeah. as I first looked at yeah. it yeah. that I thought, uh, uh, what does this need music for? And I said that to Alan Bakula and he said, no, and this is where good director really makes it happen. He said, I, I want this movie, uh, the score, to remind people that this movie is about two reporters, two young men who are getting closer and closer and closer, and their hearts are beating faster chest, and faster. Yeah. And just from a direction like that, uh, you get a feeling for a rhythm. Yeah. And the score is basically a pulse that keeps getting more and more and it, 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 up, it yeah. remains yeah. one of the best movies to yeah. date. Yeah. Yeah. This has been a pleasure talking to you. I hope we see you in Ireland again soon. I would love to be back here. I was here 30 years ago, and uh, I hope it's not 30 years again. <laughs> no, don't even that long. Come back to us back. before then. Thank you very much. Pleasure chatting to you. Thank, Thank you, you, David.